to support the channel or get access to exclusive content, consider becoming a Patreon today at patreon.com blue track. Absolute power corrupts, but absolute powerlessness corrupts even more. Malcolm X. The feeling of having no power at all is actually more corrupting than the feeling of having a lot of power. Powerlessness leads people to play negative games, manipulative games to gain power. We humans want power. We might not admit it openly or even to ourselves because we think it sounds selfish and ugly. But the feeling of having no degree of influence over your life and the people around you is very disconcerting. Why do you think people pay their hard-earned money to attend coaching programs and seminars, buy and spend the time to study self-help books, attend therapy, and so on? Is it not to gain a degree of control over their lives and also to have a degree of influence over people? Imagine a football coach who cannot influence his players to understand him and play a certain way. Imagine a parent who cannot guide your child on the right path to take in life. Please think about this, is a leader supposed to be called a leader if he cannot influence his followers? How can you manage a family, a business, or a team in the right direction, if you do not have the power to influence people? If you see a person who cannot persuade their spouse or children to stop their ugly behavior, who cannot talk to someone to support them on very basic issues, then you've found a person who lives a very miserable and unsatisfying life. They may even entertain the idea that they've been cursed, right from birth. What about an individual who cannot persuade a person they feel so attracted to be in a relationship with them? How will they bear it to find out that the person they are madly in love with has been taken away by another person just because they couldn't persuade and influence? Since we cannot bear having no power over people, if we fail to gain this power in positive ways, we will resort to negative ways to get power. Ways like victimizing ourselves, intimidation, manipulation, passive aggression, and so on. Take, for example, a man who works under a rude and domineering boss. It takes him hours of contemplation before he can suggest an idea to his boss because of fear. This man runs his boss's errand like a pawn without the slightest guts to objects. He becomes angry and frustrated because he has no control over his career, his boss, and his life. Ashamed of his lack of control, he must find a way to have control over something around him. So when he gets home from work, he dominates the home and dominates over his wife and children like a tyrant. They dare not get him angry, because if they do, he is going to pour out all of his anger and frustration on them. To succeed in any area of life, we need people, and inevitably, we need to be able to persuade them to support our cause. The main issue is that we've lost touch with understanding what truly drives people. In today's world, people are more focused on themselves than ever before, and social media may play a significant role in this self-obsession. This self-centeredness causes individuals to be trapped in their own little bubbles. Many people don't realize that the root of their pain and failures, as well as why they feel stuck or unable to progress, is their lack of understanding of others. They struggle to see things from another person's perspective or comprehend what motivates them. Instead, they tend to always think about themselves, which hinders their ability to persuade or influence others effectively. This leads to shallow and fragile relationships, lacking deep empathy, especially in today's increasingly challenging environment. What makes the problem worse is that many of us lack self-awareness about our own negative traits. We tend to believe that it's always someone else who's narcissistic, aggressive, envious, or has hidden flaws. Not ourselves. This lack of self-awareness, combined with not understanding what truly drives people, lies at the core of why we struggle to influence others effectively. While people are smart in fields like computer programming or mathematics, they often remain clueless about human behavior. This can lead to situations where they trust the wrong people, like hiring a partner who ends up betraying them, because they couldn't read the signs in that person's past that could have warned them about such actions. Many people lack an understanding of the psychology of those they interact with. Instead, they judge based on superficial qualities like charm, appearance, or articulateness, without delving deeper to see the real person behind the facade. To influence people effectively, we must be ready to take on different roles. 
It's not about always speaking our mind bluntly, especially when it could create conflicts. For instance, if your boss suggests an idea you disagree with, you don't immediately criticize it openly. Instead, you play a role by keeping your thoughts to yourself and handling the situation tactfully. The idea that acting or wearing a social mask is inherently negative is erroneous. We often hear that we should always be authentic and express ourselves fully, but that's misleading. Human beings are naturally adept at acting from a young age, learning how to adapt their behavior to get what they need or want. Imagine someone who bluntly says everything they think. They definitely have few friends. So, let's be realistic. In many situations, like at work, we don't always speak our mind freely. We adapt our behavior to suit the context, just like courtiers navigating a royal court. Rather than resisting this need to act, we should strive to become better actors, learning to navigate social dynamics effectively. We often don't realize how much we adapt our behavior in everyday life, constantly adjusting our persona based on who we're interacting with. You might notice that certain people bring out an aggressive side in you, while others make you feel more timid or reserved. This ability to change depending on the situation or person is natural, but many people aren't aware of how much they're actually acting. As social creatures, we have to tailor our words and actions to fit the context we're in. Simply blurting out our feelings without considering the situation isn't what being human is about. Human beings possess the capacity to control their emotions and choose their words wisely. One common mistake people make is talking too much, revealing too much about themselves. It's crucial to exercise self-control, to be skilled at wearing different masks when needed, and to appreciate the art of acting and playing roles effectively. One major problem is that we're becoming more focused on ourselves, constantly wondering if others like us, if we said the right things, or if we're getting the respect we want. However, if we switch perspectives and consider the other person, what they need, their thoughts, background, and challenges. We gain the power to influence them. This shift allows us to tap into our ability to act appropriately for different situations. For instance, being a leader involves projecting assertiveness, strength, a certain tone of voice, and a confident demeanor. In essence, you're playing a role, and the better you are at embodying these traits in front of your team, the more they'll see you as a figure of authority. It's crucial to be mindful of the people you interact with, as some individuals can be genuinely harmful. We've all encountered toxic people. Those who are aggressive and selfish and can disrupt our lives. When you're around them, you must be able to identify the signs and recognize that you're dealing with toxicity. Each person you encounter is unique, so it's essential to understand their background and what shaped them. This knowledge helps you navigate interactions more effectively. It doesn't mean you have to pretend to be someone you're not, rather, it's about being aware of the other person's sensitivities and values. This awareness allows you to avoid offending them or doing things that could create animosity between you, 